Hi everyone, Senex Soft here. This is Cubitrock Metal Box. It's composed of a metallic uh, casing with a Cubitrock development board based on all winner A20, a SATA, a 128GB SATA drive, as well as a, a lithium ion battery. I think the capacity is 5300 mA per hour. So let's start the box. Start. No. Yes. Um, so I also connected the HDMI cable, Ethernet, and I haven't used Wi Fi yet. Okay, so that's a good. I got some error messages uh, sent because of the SSD. I'm not sure why. Uh, by default, when you flash the firmware, uh, it will flash to the NAND flash. Uh, but for extra performance, I really recommend you switch the rootfs to the SSD. I explained how to do in the in my full review in the link below. So let's log in. Uh, the user is either root or QB. I use QB, and with the password, is a QB board. Okay, so that's the user interface. Uh, this is 1080p. Uh, you'll notice some icons already installed. Uh, you can change the monitor settings. So here, yeah, this is 1080p at 50 Hz. And they have, ah, normally they have uh, options here, but <laughs> when I make the video, it has disappeared. Otherwise, there is a README and they recommend to run kubeconfig first. So let's do that. Let's start the terminal first and let's run kubeconfig as root. sudo kubeboard password and that the one is quite similar to Raspberry Pi and the Android boards. So you've got the expand file system. Uh, but it's not SD card, it's only for SD card. You can change the user password, enable the boot to desktop. This is the default. Internationalization option. You can change the local, the time zone. This is what you have to do. Uh, by default, it's set to China. And you can change the keyboard layout if you don't want to use a US keyboard. Okay, and the advanced option, you can change the host name or disable SSH. It's enabled by default. No, I don't want to reboot right now. But you may want to reboot the first time. Okay, so now I go through the list of apps. These are all pre-installed, except LibreOffice I installed afterwards. Chromium is pre-installed as well as XT11 VNC server or client, I don't know. And there are many others. Sound and video, uh, they have GNOME player, the default video players. And system tools, uh, they have system profiler and benchmark on task manager. Fornis text shoot, text test suit, and htop I installed by myself. Okay, so let's try to start LibreOffice to see how fast is it it is to to use. So it's booting from SSD, so this is reasonably fast. And I will do a quick test test. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll change the font size a bit. Okay. Anyway, 
this one is easy and it's always working this just depends how fast oh, how fast it will uh, start and there are there is two gigabyte of ram so it's rather uh, enough and now let's go to chromium web browser okay they complain about google api keys are missing Let's go to CNX software. All right, the text. Oh yeah, I always zoom when I go on my website a little bit. Uh, but the text is not very sharp, like there is not anti areas. Okay, although like this, it looks, uh, when we zoom a bit, it looks better. Okay, so let's open multi tabs. Oh, I am not sure why this happened. This is difficult to open. Ah, it's already open. Uh, so now I will go search for another post. Mm, this is a little slow. I cannot control the scroll bar right now. And uh, I'm not sure you can look at the top, at the bottom right, but the CPU usage is very, very high. I will run edge top. Then we have a better look as well what's going on in terms of memory so let's change to always on top and keep it on the side here ok I'll go to that one and I will search uh, for my post about Kairos Kivan to try the same uh, video as I tried on the Yugos UM3 and Odroid XU3 Lite. Those are much powerful RK3288 and Exynos 5422 based boards. So we see what the QB truck is capable of. So the CPU usage is extremely high and it's a little difficult to control. Okay, let's start to play anyway. It's starting playing, uh, but it's unwatchable. And you can see the CPU usage is like load average four times, four cores, and we only have two cores. Uh, okay, but for fun, let's go to YouTube. Maybe some miracle happens. Well, and each time before it plays, you will say an error occurred, uh, but after, it would play or at least when I tried before it would play okay it's, play, it's uh, loading now oh, yeah, I forgot to show you the resolution oh my god it's struggling so much so the resolution is 480p and if we check the stats for nerds, if I can, yeah. It should show me a VP9. Oh, okay. Maybe this one is using flash. Uh, 
instead of HTML5 in the other box. Uh, but anyway, uh, it cannot really, yeah, it cannot handle at all. Only software video decoding. No codec information. No, I can't see. Uh, but anyway, this one is not so good. So now let's try a flash game. Facebook Candy Crush Saga. So can you play Candy Crush Saga with QB Truck? So easy. Yeah. And once again, CPU usage is still very high. The load average up to seven, almost seven. the system is really struggling. <coughs> ah. Okay, but anyway, flash is detected and now it's loading the game. It's stuck at 67% for a little while. But if we are patient, we should be able to play. Yeah. Uh, we have to be quite patient. Ah, 100%. So obviously it's not loading as fast as on your computer. And let's start this level. Play. Okay. And that feels very sluggish. But when you we will play you will see how sluggish it is. You see the animations is a little disaster. Actually there are no animations. You just see the beginning, the end <laughs> and the short animations. So this one uh, is not so good. So for Chromium I think that's all I wanted to show. And normally I switch to 3D acceleration test. Uh, with uh, ES2 gears, but uh, in Debian uh, it doesn't seem in the repo, or at least not in the repo used by Cubicrat. Um, they only have GLX gears, but this one is for OpenGL, uh, so it will not work or it will use software decode. So I skipped that one. So now let's go to um, the file manager and I will try to play a video. I copy a video in the SSSD. So let's start by Big Bug Bunny 1080p. And the player is a GNOME player. Uh, and yet again, 100% CPU usage on both scores. And it's not playing very smoothly. still playing uh, but it's not though it's not really enjoyable so let's try something a little easier then let's try uh h264 hey, i was sure i copied s2 okay that's i ah, yeah, is here uh, Big bug 
Statistics. Uh, no statistics. Uh, you can see some problems. In the reason when we have the menu, the background becomes black sometimes. Uh, but otherwise, 720p is playing relatively okay. Ah, uh, you notice I have no audio. That's because. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my HDMI TV on the board cannot communicate and the edit information has not been sent. Okay, so that's it for video playback. Um, so there's a battery, right? So let's have a look. This is the power. I will disconnect the power. Okay, power disconnect. I'm still running. So if I'm in uh, idle mode, uh, it will last, the battery will last about four hours. Okay, and uh, you can monitor the battery with a SysFS. And if it gets too low, you can probably stop your application and uh, send a command to power the system off which I will do now and uh, next time the power comes back uh, the board will start again automatically and you can start your application okay thank you for watching bye bye